Welcome to Louisville. Louisville? <laughs> check out the city and do some of the things down there and get us a hot brown. All right. The Brown Hotel. What are we going to the Brown Hotel for, honey? A hot brown? They'll find out, huh? A hot brown. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I would say mine was pretty good. You're still working on it, huh? What do you think? <laughs> I love catching her with her mouthful. A mobile DJ right there. Oh yeah, he's got he's got two speakers. <laughs> I can still hear him. He's a little ways away. Or you give him a little disco ball over the top. That'd be perfect. Now, one of the great things about Louisville, it's the heart of bourbon country. That's where they have the bourbon trail. And the Bourbon Trail consists of about 40 bars and restaurants where you can take out bourbon tours. They'll give you history. They go over 200 years of bourbon history. They cover everything from prohibition all the way up to current times and modern ways to make bourbon. There's tastings, there's food. It's really a neat part of Louisville. 
we decided that we were going to go and check out a, um, a speakeasy. So Tanya had set me up for the Evan Williams one. We decided to go down there. Now, I'm, I teased her about the Bud Light Factory. She can give me the same garbage about the Evan Williams one. It was good. It was a good tour. So check it out. We had a lot of fun. Let me know what you think. It says to commemorate the establishment of the town of Louisville in 1780. What do they have more of here? Do they have more people or bourbon? Barrels of bourbon. More barrels of bourbon than people? Yes. Uh, I could live here. It's pretty. They actually provide 95% of bourbon, I think, in the whole world. So they're like supporting alcoholics everywhere. <laughs> awesome. Oh, there's the big statue. Oh, yeah, I didn't see it from the front yet. You ready? I'm ready, are you? I am. and then breathe through your mouth. As you do that, you get to taste what's playing the game with you just a bit more. You might smell a little bit of grass to it, maybe some cinnamon, maybe uh, some dried red fruit. Now, if this is your first drink of the day, and there's no judgment here, take a little sip of it. It'll kind of shock your taste buds away. Wake you up a bit. Really enjoy these. That what, what you got right there in front of you is what they call rye whiskey. You know why they call it rye whiskey? Yeah, it's made with rye. Yeah, we're not hard test here. <laughs> we're not hard test here, but we're not good at stuff. So that'll come up later. But yeah, it's made with rye, 51% rye in the mash bill with the rocks. All right, I'll keep going. We built our first courthouse out of stone. Our city's first jail had set of stone. A couple years younger. We'll call it a dandelion or a goldenrod on the color here. You give this one a whip, it kind of has a honey, <coughs> it has a uh, corn kind of smell to it, it's very sweet. Ooh, yeah, it on the back end, here you go. Okay. Now, this one to me, on the nose, it kind of smells like chocolate and mint. But the way I am, I bet you I can smell chocolate on that side of the room over there. <laughs> it's very sweet smelling to me, and more John Paul's shirts too. Right here's going to find out who's tough or not. <laughs> You could say foolproof, you could say cast strength, you could say barrel strength, barrel proof. The reason they call it that is because you drink enough of it, you could lift a barrel over your head. <laughs> <laughs> or at least you think you could. You only make that mistake once. But this one right here, what that means is, barrel strength, it means it's fresh, out of the barrel, no water been added to it. Now do you kind of smell like a... It could smell like a, a burnt marshmallow, it could smell like a, a graham cracker sandwich. Yeah, it smells. 
Any of them? I bet you like this one. You're missing it. <laughs> it's got the same color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think? That one's pretty good. <clears throat> If you drank that one around the camp, it's hard to change your life. <laughs> if you uh, drink that one, no sense on the drive. Heat <laughs> <laughs> it up for you. Appreciate you. Uh, a snake walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Where'd you get those feet? There it goes. Look at it. That's pretty cool. Follow it up. Okay, well. This one you get here. Well, that's pretty wild. Now well, I want to see another one. Come on, come on. There we go. It's it's like they found Rick James' old limousine and brought it to Louisville. It's from the museum hotel. That's pretty wild. Somebody went nuts with their bedazzler. right here in downtown. Oh, yeah. It's the oldest steamboat in the country. That's amazing they built something like that way back then. Big boy, so we're around with the health food. Guess where we are? Churchill Down. and ready to scan at the turnstile. That'll work right here. More shiny events. Drones, weapons, noisemakers, and any items deemed dangerous or inappropriate are prohibited and not permitted into the facility. Coolers out. Safely. Welcome to Churchill Downs, home of the Kentucky Derby since 1875. Please have your ticket or mobile device in hand and ready to scan. Style. I think that would look very good on you. <laughs> yes. I don't see anywhere where it doesn't tell me I can't. It says visit our horses. So damn it. I'm gonna visit the horses. Oh yeah, we found them. <laughs> it's better than an unstable museum, I guess. Uh, 
figure it out. Here she comes. Hey! I know you. What are you doing? Huh? It's waiting on you. Where you been? I was taking a video. Look, they're setting up for a wedding. I just can't get away from this stuff. Nice. Very nice. Well, you can see it right there. I know, they do a good job actually. Yeah, but they you want to get married at Churchill Downs? So they do a pretty nice job, actually. There's something eating. Look, I found a racehorse. Oh, he's a thoroughbred, baby. Hey, buddy. I mean, you're growing up at the museum. You're destined to be a champion, aren't you?